the cherries in the bloom, it has no stone. Very, very wind. too dry then there's dust in the fleece so they can't shear either and uh, what they what they do is they feel feel the fleece of the sheep they come up the sheep and start feeling it like that which is known as playing the piano <laughs> and uh, just checking to see if the fleece is dry or wet and i will never ever do this but I'm going to do it because I think this is just great and um, I found this poem and uh, I haven't had a chance to learn it yet but I'm just going to because arthritis is quite sort of uh, prevalent among the shearers. So, Dipso Dan, where is it? Dipso Dan was wandering slowly up the street from the Tats to the Royal one day when he met Father Connolly, local Catholic priest. G'day, Father. Going my way? The priest gave Dipso a long and rueful look and smiled at the drunkard's little joke. Sure, I'll walk with you, Dan. You're not looking too well. And it's been quite a while since we spoke. So they walked together, quite an odd pair. The priest stepping purposeful and sprightly. Serious expression, hands behind his back. Dipso Dan, meandering slightly. <laughs> I'm not feeling too bad, confided Dipso Dan. Last week I had a touch of laryngitis. But I'm glad I met you, Father, I've been meaning to ask. What is that that causes that arthritis? Here's a chance, thought Father Connolly, to reform this fellow I've been praying for for ages. Arthritis, Dan, he said. Well, now I believe it develops through a series of stages. The first of these is physical alcohol abuse. <laughs> Maybe a major factor, I suppose. And then, of course, there's hygiene, not washing regularly, and sleeping in the open in your clothes. And some of it is spiritual arthritis takes a hold when a person loses self-respect. So it's caused by a combination of drinking, poor hygiene, sinful living, and neglect. Well, blow me down, gasped Dipso Dan. <laughs> so that's arthritis, eh? I simply wondered how a bloke would spot it. And I only asked you, Father, because I read the other day in the paper that Pope John Paul had got it. Now the weather had been sultry for a fortnight's time or more. Shearers had been driving mice and maize. For some had got the century, who'd never got it before. And now all hands away 